in this video i'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot your phoenix browser so if you have been trying to use phoenix but all of a sudden it can't open or when it opens it keeps on closing or it crashes then let me show you how you can fix this problem and get your app or browser up and running without any issue my name is isaac and this is a minute with ai if you find this video helpful i'll kindly request that you support me by liking the video and also by subscribing to my channel now in the first method we need to go ahead and look for the app information page and that's where we shall do our first troubleshooting to do that it is quite simple just head over to settings on your smartphone and from settings scroll down until you see an option called apps now, depending on your smartphone, I'm using a Redmi smartphone. This process should be more or less the same on any other Android smartphone. Now, from apps, look for the option called Manage Apps. And under it, go ahead and open it to display all the apps. From here, go ahead and look for your app by scrolling down this list. And as you can see, my app is here. Alternatively, you can search for your app here. So if I tap on it, you can see I'm on the app information page and this is where we are going to do our troubleshooting. However, if getting to this page is quite tedious for you, then let me show you a shortcut. For the shortcut, just go back and locate your app. And this time around, instead of tapping on it, go ahead and long press on it. And we'll see here, we have here, look at down below, app info. If I tap on it, again, I'm taken to the same app information page. Now from here, we want to go ahead and clear the app data and more especially the cache data. So if I tap on storage, you can see we have a lot of cache data on this app. And this is one of the reasons why I'm experiencing or the app is not functioning well. So when you talk of cache data or cache files, we are talking of small files that your app normally stores to enhance user experience. Now, the problem is when these files accumulate, they might sometimes cause your app malfunction. So to restore this, go ahead and tap on clear data here. And then choose the second option, which is clear cache and then OK. And now restart your smartphone. As you can see, the cache data has been reduced to zero. From here now, restart your smartphone and then try opening your app afresh. And it should now be working well without any problem. However, if this didn't solve your problem, then proceed to the next method, which is looking for the app through Google Play Store. That will depend whether you are on Android or iPhone. If you are on iPhone, go to App Store. So I'm on Android and therefore I'll look for the app through Google Play Store. So my Play Store is here. I'll tap on it and look for Phoenix app. You can see it is here. From here, search for any or look for any option called update. If it is here, it means you have been using an outdated version of your Phoenix app. So go ahead and tap on update. And then this will go ahead and download the latest version of Phoenix browser and then install it on your smartphone and from this go ahead and tap on phoenix or open and now you should get your app running without any other problem this should have fixed all the challenges that you are experiencing with your phoenix app so if you have any other question kindly let me know in the comment section otherwise if this video is helpful please like it and also subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and let's meet in the next video